So good morning you guys. I'm just getting ready because I'm going on a spontaneous trip to Primark with my sister. I did ask her last week if she needed to go into town to go into Primark at all and she said yes but we just hadn't decided on a day. Just applying my Skin and Me sunscreen. So I do actually have a discount code and a link for Skin and Me. I'll have it in the description of my video. It's not sponsored at all. It's just a friend referral code. I don't always use my face primer. I thought I would go ahead and use a little bit today because my skin has been a little bit dry. This is just a Too Faced hangover primer. And I might also pop into House of Fraser to have a look at their Arcs because I've been wanting a new pair of Arcs for a couple of years. Um, I got my first pair of Arcs like eight, nine years ago. I have the black Bailey Bow ones and there's quite a few that I really like the look of. Brandon's gonna be getting me a pair as well. So I just need to decide which one exactly and if i can see them in person maybe try them on that would help right my skin feels much more hydrated now so i'm just going to go ahead and apply my l'oreal true match plumping serum you guys know i love this stuff and i wear this every single day to work and it's perfect if you want to go for that no makeup makeup look i get a lot of compliments from customers about my makeup so i don't think it's anything special they're always like oh your skin is glowing it looks amazing and sometimes when i wear a different blusher um <laughs> i've had some customers go oh you're wearing makeup today it looks really nice and it's like i always wear makeup the only thing that's different is my blusher so it's perfect if you want to go for that no makeup makeup look it just blends into your skin nicely it doesn't feel thick and heavy on your skin at all the coverage is quite good i wouldn't say it's full coverage, um, maybe medium coverage I would say, maybe light to medium coverage. But for me it pretty much evens out my skin tone and just makes my skin look healthy and glowy and yeah. And it's really nice and easy to blend out and it's super quick for me to apply this uh, during the week when I'm getting ready for work because I'm almost always in a rush. I might actually pop into my workplace because I actually work in town. Um, so I might actually pop into my workplace, which is a pet shop, if you guys didn't know, and maybe pick up my Christmas prezzies from my work colleagues, because two of my work colleagues have already wrapped their Christmas gifts, so I might pick them up today. You can hear Bella calling me. I think she's looking for me. Bella! Oh, she's coming. Hello! I don't know if you could hear her, but whenever she can't find me and she's looking for me, she starts making this really cute little sound. Like her meows are so cute. They're not proper meows, they're just really cute sounds. And yeah, sometimes when she can't find me, she walks around calling me. Then when I call her, she's like, oh, and then she comes running. She's so cute. So I'm just going to do a bit of contour today. On a work day, I just do foundation, uh, blusher, bit of powder, and then I do my eyebrows and mascara. I just, I just keep it really basic. I'll do a little bit of contour today um, and I might put some lashes on as well. Can you see her behind me? Bella? Oh. I think her claw is stuck. We almost didn't get a vlog today. Um, last night was not great. So yesterday I was going to film me um, like wrapping presents and stuff, but then the lighting was really bad. So I thought, okay, I'll do it today because the weather is supposed to be better today. It's supposed to be a little bit sunny. So I thought, okay, I'll just film today instead. So yesterday I did end up filming a couple of clips, just a few random bits at home. And I think I am gonna scrap that vlog because I don't really like it. And then in the evening, I um, put my SD card back in my camera and it wouldn't go in. It was like there was something jammed inside. So I had a look, didn't really see anything. And then I thought maybe a bit of the SD card has broken off inside my camera. So I was prodding around, poking in it with this metal thing. Then I seemed to have broken it even more. And yeah. It wasn't a good night. So then I ordered myself another camera off Amazon. So that cost me £800. And then I ended up cancelling the order last night. So I've got the Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1 if you're American. And it is a great camera, but the stabilisation is really shit. And I don't like that I can't do time lapses on this camera. I can, but it puts them into pictures and doesn't make them into a video. Yeah, it's really long. And my previous camera was the G7X, which I annoyingly sold last year, I think it was. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is just buying the G7X again because the stabilization on that camera was 
really good um and i like that i can do time lapses on there and the only thing i didn't like about that camera was the autofocus so yeah i'm gonna buy a new camera um this one is a little bit unpredictable because last night i tried my sd card again and it managed to let me start filming so we're just gonna hope and pray i can get this video done today i'm going to do a bit of gift wrapping when i get home so we're just going to have our fingers and toes crossed that we make it through to the end of the video you can tell this battery is going down i do have a second battery but i don't even want to open the slot for the battery in case it doesn't start recording again so before i leave i think i'll plug in this camera to charge it up a little bit if i do film some clips on when i'm out i'm just probably going to have to film on my phone so as long as we can get all the footage that we need to do today then that's fine and hopefully i should have a new camera at some point this week ready for next weekend so if you're wondering what i use for my contour it was just the Too faced born this way ethereal light concealer and i use this in the shade milk chocolate i'm then going to go in with the Too faced natural chocolate bronzer in the shade caramel cocoa they really need to come out with some darker bronzer because there's only about two shades it's ridiculous um so this is what it looks like and it adds a little bit of a glow because it is shimmery um but yeah it's not it's not that amazing it could it could deal with being a little bit darker but the packaging is pretty and it smells good it smells like chocolate um so yeah just gonna put a little bit of that on my face to warm it up a little bit i might pop a little bit of concealer on under my eyes but i'll do that in a bit because i didn't bring it into the bathroom with me as for blusher i'm just going to use this one by revolution i've been loving these brushes recently this is in the shade irony so it's just this orange i should have gone for my berry colored one to be honest but Oh well, so it doesn't matter. You only need a little bit of this because it is so, so, so pigmented. I'm going to go ahead and continue with my makeup and pop my camera on charge. So I'm all ready and I'm just about to head downstairs. I've got my porridge in a cup because I didn't have time to eat it and I've got a little spoon in here. This is my outfit for today. So it's not too cold. I've got a couple of layers under this jumper. So I've got this coat on, which is a new coat from Sheen and I really, really like it. It's a perfect everyday coat for me and I wear it to work and it has got a hood. It's a nice fluffy hood. I love the length of it and yeah, I'm really happy with this coat. If you know of any good quality brands that do a coat that look just like this, please let me know. Because I ordered one from Next, I ordered one from Hollister. They were both Parker coats, but I just found them a little bit too long and I prefer shorter coats. And this one is really nice and flattering on me. Just got my usual tote bag. This jumper I've got on is actually also from Sheen. I love this jumper. I got it earlier this year. Um, it's such a nice colour and it's so snug and cosy. It's like this beautiful fleece material and I've just got my fleece lined leggings on. Socks are from Sheen and I've just got my leather converse on. And my sister's downstairs so I'm just gonna grab my breakfast. <laughs> home and it's 1 30 so i was a little bit longer in town than i expected especially because i've got a lot of gift wrapping to do now i don't know whether i'm going to get all my wrapping done today or not i definitely need to wrap brandon's presents because i'm seeing him on saturday i'm really hungry so i'm gonna have something to eat in a minute i've got some leftover dominoes in the fridge because brandon treated me to a takeaway last night but i don't know if it's just me but i i hate shopping i used to absolutely love shopping i used to love it but i feel like in the last couple of years i've just really disliked shopping i just find it so i don't know it's a headache i find it a bit stressful a little bit overwhelming i prefer to shop online shopping is just 
it's just not for me. It wasn't too cold outside today. It's actually quite decent. It's not cold at all. Um, I actually felt quite warm shopping around. So we did go to House of Fraser, had a little look at the Uggs. They didn't have too many. They used to have a whole section for Uggs, but now it's literally just a little table, which you guys would have seen in the clips I filmed on my phone. Uh, we went into Poundland because my sister wanted to pick up some um, like stocking fillers and stuff. Um, we went into two different Poundlands. One of my Poundlands now does clothes. I know uh, Poundlands had like a bit of clothes for a couple of years, but they've actually dedicated the back section of the shop to clothes and their clothes sort of look like Primark clothes and the prices are about the same so I picked up a what do you call it a fleece jumper it is an outdoor jumper but I feel like it will be nice to wear indoors I don't think I'll wear it outdoors and it's pink so I picked up that and that was £10 and I picked up some sweets and oh I also picked up some, some more gift bags uh, not that I needed anymore but just in case because these are like normal sized gift bags if you guys saw my Poundland haul the other week because I got gift wrapping stuff and like sweets and chocolates um, I got a lot a lot of stuff and if I don't use them this year I can use them next year so after we went to Primark we dropped off my bags at work so we could go into a few other shops but there isn't really that many shops in my town anymore it's really sad a lot of them are closed down so there wasn't really a huge amount of places to go to um so yeah my sister bought um like Christmassy bits like Christmas stockings and stuff and also pajamas for my niece and nephews and she picked up a few bits for herself as well so I'll give you guys a quick little haul so my room's getting a little bit filled up I've got my sheen stuff there got my Christmas bits there and all the better stuff and this is everything that I brought today so these are my Christmas presents from one of my work colleagues Margot um, Liz said she still had a few more bits to add to my gift so I'll take that home probably next week when she's ready in um, House of Fraser I saw this and it was only £10 and I was tempted to get something like this on Amazon so it's an LED candle and this is a free wick one I had a little sneak peek in one of the boxes and it looked quite nice so hopefully it is decent so I'll open it up in a minute uh, but yeah I didn't think that was too bad for £10 I'll show you guys the bits I got in Poundland this is my my porridge so let's take that out I thought this fleece thing was such a pretty pink and it looks so cute and so snugly and it's oversized I put this in a small and this is something I'm just gonna wear indoors it's like something a little bit cozy if I'm cold I don't really like stuff on my legs hence why I tend to wear um night dresses throughout the year but sometimes they get a bit cold so I throw like a jumper over them thought this was really cute and snuggly I used to have some bed sheets like this but I'm just obsessed with fleece material at the moment and then also in Poundland I picked up three packets of these sweets because I did order some of them when I did my Poundland order the other week they are amazing and Poundland's the only place I know that um sell these so I thought I would stock up but they're really 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 good I've just lit a what is it called um cinnamon orange tea light candle so I just lit that when I got home and it just makes my room smell really nice so these are the bits that I got from Primark I didn't get too many things I think I literally just got four items so the first two are quite boring I just picked up some thermal tops so this is a thermal vest and um this is perfect for this time of year um, Primark is great for their essentials. They had a lot of fleece leggings. So the leggings I've got on now, I told my sister to get a pair because they are amazing. Um, they mainly only had the black ones and a couple of grey ones. But honestly, if you don't have a pair of Primark fleece leggings, go and get yourself a pair. You will not regret it. And they're only £7 and they keep you so snug and warm throughout the winter. I've got like three pairs and I lived in them last year. So I also got this thermal top. I do already have a thermal top, to be honest with you. I can't remember how much these were. Oh, 12, 12 pounds. Wow, I didn't, honestly, I didn't look at the price. Okay, so this one was only five, but this one was 12 pounds, which isn't too bad, I guess, because I do have a thermal top from, I think it's, JD Sports, I can't remember the name of the shop, but I bought one a couple of years ago and it was about the same price. Um, and yeah, so that was that. I think my Primark stuff came up to £40 exactly. Um, so I also got these trainers. I didn't even check to make sure these were the right size. Um, Cause you know, sometimes you can accidentally pick up the wrong size, but I'm a size five and I don't know how I feel about these. So I love the color. So that is why I got them. Cause I love the color. I just don't really like cheap shoes. I find that obviously more expensive shoes are, they fit nicer than more comfortable, but I loved the color of these. 
these so I thought I would grab them and if I really don't like them I can bring them back and these match perfectly with a jumper I picked up oh and I've got some chewing gum as well I completely forgot about this this is just sugar free strawberry chewing gum I struggled to find anything in my size in Primark I saw some really nice fleece jumpers and stuff they were all sold out in small saw some really nice pink pajamas sold out in a small but they had my size in this jumper so i got this in an extra small but it is oversized and i thought this was so cute and then i saw the trainers after and i thought that is a perfect match look it couldn't get any better so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and try this on because i've been really excited to see what this looks like so whenever i want to get into my mom drawer i have to move my bedside table out of the way because it's not enough space i very rarely go into these drawers though but i just wanted to show you guys my drawers that i organized i mentioned this in my last vlog so instead of having everything rolled i decided to fold stuff instead and i managed to free up a whole like this whole section and i put some of my cardigans for my wall wardrobe in here and it's so much easier for me to find stuff so I think I've got like all my body suits in this section and I've got my little tops in this section I've got some more sort of tops here um sort of miscellaneous tops there and sort of like long sleeve and short sleeve tops there and then I've got all my pink cardigans and I got some cream cardigans and I'm just going to pop these in here for now my thermal stuff until I'm ready to wear them and then this drawer you can't really see because it's all black but I also folded all of this stuff so I've got dresses skirts and um shirts in here and I managed to fit in some of my black cardigans to free up some space in my wardrobe for like more coats and stuff and then I also went through this drawer so I've got scarf got socks this section needs to be tidied up again and I've got gloves and hats and stuff as well so you know all nice and tidy so I've just popped the trainers on and I don't know if I need a bigger size because they feel a little bit tight they are quite nice trainers I do like them they feel a bit more comfortable than I expected them to feel and I love 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 the color so this is what the jumper looks like and I really 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 like it I feel like maybe I should have got it in slightly bigger size and I just love how minimal it is as well because you know you have some jumpers and they've got writing on it and it's just a little bit too bold whereas this I like it and I just realised I think it's got my birth year on it. Yep, it's perfect. It's got 1997, the year I was born on there, so it was meant to be. And annoyingly, look at my leggings. These were literally brand new and I think my fleece top that I had on today has just rubbed and it's just made them look like this. Look how bad they look. It looks like I've had them for years. If I'm wearing like a long jumper or something, I guess it covers it, but that's besides the point. I need to go ahead and put all of this stuff away and I think I might throw on this little snuggly thing. I really want to try it on. It looks so good. So I've just got on my snuggly jumper. I love having my top half off. I feel like my legs don't really get cold. It's just like my arms that get cold. I feel like it is kind of warm indoors. It's not cold. It's a little bit chilly. So I might get a little bit too hot in this but I love it the only thing is I don't like that the neck bit comes up a little bit high and yeah I'm really happy with it and once again I love the colour and uh yeah so I'm starving so I'm going to um heat up some of my dominoes from yesterday I'm gonna have a look at this in a minute as well but I think what I'm gonna do is tidy up some of Bella's toys quick and also pick up her feeding mat just so that I have a bit more space in my room for my wrapping Bella, you have way too many toys. This is her toy box. She's got loads of toys, <laughs> but they're all in here now. I'm just going to shove that under my bed. I think this is my chicken pickers in here. So good. And I've got my pizza garlic bread in here. Doesn't that look amazing? And I love their little Christmas packaging as well. So cute. Honestly, chicken kickers and pizza garlic bread from Domino's is amazing. Let me know in the comments your favorite Domino's side. So annoyed because I just unboxed my candle. Uh, turns out it was supposed to be 20, well, it was originally 20 pounds and it got reduced to 10. And it also comes with a remote as well. And my candle is over there. It's absolutely huge. Um, I'll show you guys the candle close up in a minute because it is massive. But I've changed the batteries twice and it just won't turn on. It's broken. This was on House of Fraser so annoyingly I'm gonna have to go back and return it. I feel like it was probably old stock because the um the springs inside were a little bit what's the word um the springs inside were a little bit rusty so yeah that is really annoying just going to tuck into a packet of these sweets. This is why I hate shopping in stores because 
to do returns you have to go all the way back to the store look how gigantic this candle is it's absolutely massive i don't even know if you can tell how big it is on camera it's actually real wax so it looks really realistic so it sounded really amazing i didn't even know it came with a remote so this is gonna have to go back um i don't know if i'm gonna grab another one just in case that one doesn't work but yeah it's just really really annoying because i was so excited for this so this is the remote so you can see you can actually adjust it which is really nice so this is gonna have to go back so it's officially that time of year where we start the gift wrapping so this is all the wrapping paper and gift bag i've brought this year this is actually all from poundland so if you guys saw my vlog from two vlogs ago you would have seen me do a haul of all of this i will um i will have that video linked in the description if you're interested but yes i got lots of wrapping paper um i really like this one my mum did open this one because i think she was going to use it and she didn't in the end I've got this really cute christmas tree one i've got this really pretty pink one and yeah we've got some bows and ribbons and then we've got this set which i actually saw my neighbor have um i popped into a house today and she had this exact wrapping paper so we've got this one i normally go for silver but this is more this is more gray so this wrapping paper goes really nicely with this bag and the rest of the bags are like silver and blue i do need to work out who's gonna have what bag i think i might give brandon this bag because he's only got a few little bits and i think his stuff will fit in this bag and it's not too girly and i love this wrapping paper so i think his stuff will go in this bag so i've actually got a few things for brandon's um dogs and the cats as well i've got more stuff for the dogs mainly yogi um because yogi is the younger dog they've got an older dog called harvey but there's some treats that they can both enjoy and it's kind of hard to get cat stuff because not all cats play with toys and there's quite a few cats at brandon's house so i thought i would just get them a pack of treats i might pick up another pack um, but all of this stuff i'm about to show you guys is from the pet shop that i work in so we'll start off with the cat thing first because there's only one item so i picked picked up a pack of the Licky Licks Webox treat. Bella absolutely loves these. Let me show you guys her Christmas ones. So she's actually got a whole backup stash in here of Licky Licks. Look at all of these. She's got loads, but she loves them. She loves all the flavors. So I usually keep the open packs in the kitchen, um, but I put this one in the drawer to remember to show you guys. But how cute are these Christmas Licky Licks? She's got two left. So they basically look like this and it's almost like a little yogurt paste that you can either squeeze out the tube or squeeze into a little dish. So she gets one of these before dinner and this flavour is turkey and cranberry. So I might actually pick up one of these for the cat. These ones are called Doggy Licks with ham and cheese and this one is a jelly. I also picked him up a Sir Worcestershire's Bark Brew Dog Beer and it's chicken flavour. How fun is that i don't know whether he's gonna like it but it's just the novelty i thought that was really sweet i got him one of his favorite packs of treats and i love that this packaging is the christmas edition so it's just the baker's sizzlers and he likes these when i went to brandon's house um yogi was eating these he loved them so i also picked him up these two packs of treats which are actually new in my shop these are really nice healthy treats and they're also 100 percent plant-based so they're called i think becco treats so this one is the dog chocolate and this one is the cashew one and they're just cute little bones so sweet and um it gives you a rough idea of the size of them at the back but um yeah hopefully yogi likes these i am an ard about getting this and it was so cute and it kept staring at me so i had to get him but i got him a little reindeer you guys know i love reindeers if you saw my last vlog when i decorated my room i put little reindeers around i've got one right here so cute so i couldn't really resist not getting yogi this adorable little reindeer like look at its eyes but it squeaks <coughs> bella's just come to investigate every time i squeak this she comes to see what it is do you like it bella this one's not for you though this one's for yogi <coughs> and yeah so that was everything that i got for yogi so i'll probably pop these in a little gift bag as well um so what i'm going to go ahead and do is head to the kitchen and grab all the chocolates that i've got for brandon and then i'll sit down and give you an overall haul of the stuff that i've got him um before i wrap this gift fellow on my bed just sniffing absolutely everything as i said before brandon said he didn't want anything but obviously i had to get him a few little bits i didn't want to go too crazy or too over the top but i just wanted to get him some nice 
some nice things. Oh, there's actually one more thing I need to grab. Um, it's just a pack of chocolate, so I'll be back in just one minute. So I did ask him a little while ago what his favourite chocolates were. So I picked him up a pack of the Quality Street favourites and this is a bar of the purple one. I also picked him up some Kinder Brenos because when I said at his house he ordered some of these. I thought i will get him a pack of them. And then the other month he told me he tried Reese's for the first time and he liked it. So I got him milk chocolate and white chocolate Reese's peanut butter freeze and I thought that was quite nice and festive. Something for him to try. And then I also got him a pack of Cadbury mini snowball and then i got him two body shop shower gels because you can't go wrong with the body shop and um everyone uses shower gel so i went for my two favorite scents so we got the strawberry one we got the mango one which is described as juicy and refreshing so yeah two of my favorite scents i hope he likes these and lastly his main gift is this um creed aftershave i remember i think it was can't remember when it was maybe last year or something he told me this was his favorite aftershave or might have been two years ago don't know can't remember um but i don't think he has any of this at the moment and i thought i would treat him to this so yeah i hope this is the right one because there there was two of these and this was quite expensive let me know in the comments what you guys like to watch or listen to while you're doing your um christmas wrapping some people like to watch a film um i usually like to pop on a bit of youtube some people like to listen to music um let me know in the comments what you like to go for so i'm not going to wrap the chocolates i don't think they can go straight into the gift bag um so i won't wrap these but i will wrap the aftershave and i'll wrap the um shower gels <laughs> got a load of chocolates here some of them are for my nephew some of them are for april and her son i completely forgot about this so i got this um i think it was last week so i picked up a shea butter solid soap and a strawberry solid soap i thought these would be nice to add to someone's christmas gifts don't know who just yet and then i think the last thing actually no there's something else this is for my mum so it's the glowing cherry blossom body mist to go with her where is it to go with her white mist so she's got two new sprays there and my mum she loves the body shop sprays um i do keep all of this paper so i'm gonna gonna save this and then for myself i got the cherries and cheer gift set um oh there's three things in here completely forgot so i went into the store the other week and i treated myself to the cherries and cheer shower gel so i thought while there was a sale on over black friday i would treat myself to a gift set so i've also got the body butter which looks like this and the smell of this oh my god it's amazing the body butter is a little bit stronger and then this here is a little hand cream so yeah how cute is that so i got everything 25 percent off which was quite nice um but yeah if you haven't smelled the new festive scent go to your local body shop and smell it get it before it sells out because i went to get the body mist for april it sold out 
and I think the oil as well, the body oils also sold out. But yeah, smells incredible. Personally to me, it does not smell um, very festive, but it is a very nice fruity scent. It's not too sweet or sickly. It's really good. Okay, so I'll quickly show you guys the bits that I got for April before I wrap them. So let me move my stuff out the way. So April also has a cherries and cheer shower gel. Um, she's also got Malteser reindeers and also Malteser chocolate so i hope i'm not forgetting anything off her list i don't think i am uh, but let me just double check she's also got a packet of cadbury's mini snowballs a bottle of snow fairy shower gel along with three other lush snow fairy products which i've wrapped up i've also got her a bookmark and this is her card so cute still need to write in that and then i also got her a portable phone charger so these were all things that were on her christmas list hopefully she's happy with all of her gifts so the choice of gift bag for april stuff is this really pretty snowflake one and then this will be the choice of tissue paper and i'm going to use this really pretty pink wrapping paper yeah i'm just going to wear this one instead what do you ever been one other year that we've some decorations off and taking them down but over the last few years So good morning you guys, I've just got myself a coffee, so I've got a caramel latte and I am actually filming on my new camera. So I got this one second hand off eBay and the one annoying thing about it is I didn't realise how I started this morning is it's making that really annoying ticking sound so it's when the camera is trying to focus you can hear it sort of ticking which is a little bit annoying so I don't know whether I'm going to keep this camera or not we'll see my old camera which is just here it is still working oh my god i hate the autofocus on this um canon camera it's honestly the worst but yeah this is my um old sony camera um this is what i've been filming with for the last couple of years and yeah i really do like this camera the only um thing i don't like about it is the stabilization it's really bad it's it makes the footage quite shaky so you'll see in the clips that i'm going to film today that the footage is a lot smoother but the only thing about the canon camera that i'm filming on which is the g7x mark ii the autofocus is crap it's really bad um <laughs> So if this video is kind of out of focus today, please bear with me. Um, I used to actually have this camera, but I sold it, I think, last year. I filmed in it for a couple of years, and then I sold it um, because I had upgraded to the Sony ZV-1 at the end of, I think, 2020 it was. And yeah, I've had this camera for a couple of years, and it did start playing up last weekend because I think a little bit of my SD card broke off in the card slot. I did manage to obviously film some footage for you last week, which you would have already seen. It is pretty much a week later now. I've been at work. Don't really tend to film during the week because there's not really much for me to film. But I thought I would continue the vlog because there's a couple of updates from last week that I want to share with you guys. And I've just got a bit of a haul. Um, you might be able to see a pile of stuff um, behind me. So I want to go ahead and show you guys those bits. I went into Primark. I've been into Primark twice actually i've got my christmas cards in here which i still need to write in i've just popped the presents that i wrapped last week into my mum's room i might quickly show you them today because i don't think i managed to show you everything that i wrapped up last week because it did get quite dark and i was so tired i was supposed to see brandon either yesterday or friday and he was going to drive me to april's house so we could exchange gifts but we're going to do that on um friday coming so christmas eve eve after work i still get everyone's gifts here and everyone from work i'm going to bring their gifts in um 
this coming week so i went ahead and exchanged my trainers so i went for a size six instead of a size five i'm usually always a size five and um i had to size up for once because these shoes come up quite small and i do like them they are comfortable they do feel quite cheap because they were cheap i think they were literally like 10 pounds and i do want to get some um and i do want to get some better quality trainers in a very similar color i think new balance have some trainers in a nice new neutral colour which I might grab at some point they're only about £100 I think so not too bad but I thought I would just grab these because they were so cheap and I will wear them you guys might remember I got a jumper so I tried it on in the is this yeah I tried it on in the extra small and I loved this jumper so it was £12 and when I went on the sun Sunday with my sister it was like they just put these out because they had all the sizes available and I did like this jumper but I felt like it would have looked better if it was oversized so when I returned or well, exchanged my trainers I picked it up in a might be in a large that I grabbed um where is the tag yeah so I picked this up in a large instead thought I would try getting a bigger size and it fits so much nicer oversized but the only problem is i was going to go ahead and return this the next day but then i remembered the lady took my receipt when i exchanged my um trainers and i can't return this without a receipt so now i'm stuck with two of the same jumpers one in an extra small and one in a large might pop this on my vintage I'm not too sure yet, but the large I do prefer. Got two more things in Primark. I grabbed a pair of these velvet plush tights. I was going to get another pair of the fleece leggings, but they only had extra large left. So yeah, <laughs> that's annoying. I'll have to grab some next year. But I managed to get these in an extra small. They had quite a few sizes available. And then the last thing I picked up was um, this thermal top, but I got it in a extra small. So this one is actually a little bit different to the one that I picked up, but it is still a long sleeve one. And this one was £12. And there's a packet of chocolate in here for my sister. I got this from Iceland because when I was shopping with her, uh, she was like, oh, I love Galaxy. And I thought, oh, I always get a Cadbury's. Um, so I picked up a bar of Galaxy and I'll pop this in her in her bag so i can start to put some of these bits away now that i've actually shown you guys because i'm that kind of person that a lot of the time if i need to do a haul of something i will keep the items out until i've filmed that haul oh and another thing speaking of primer when i went in on sunday with my sister i saw this really cute jumper but they only had I don't know how many there were there's probably maybe two left but they were bigger sizes they didn't have any in my size and I messaged my friend April because she works in Primark which is one of the most amazing places to work in honestly if I worked in Primark I would be like her just buying stuff all the time I wouldn't be able to help myself um yeah so I asked her do you have any of these jumpers left in your Primark and she was like no um we don't have these ones anymore or I think she said they only have them in the bigger sizes and I was like oh and she was like oh I I actually have that jumper and the funniest thing is me and april we have a lot of the same clothes we have the same sort of taste when it comes to clothes and a lot of things it's so funny because sometimes she'll be like oh i really like this item and item and i'm like oh my god i really like that too or i have that um it's just so funny how our minds work but yeah she was like i actually have that jumper and it's really nice and i was like oh it is really nice and i want one so i had a look on vintage and they actually had one on there in my size the one thing i love about vintage is the fact that if you sell on there you can save like your money into your vintage account and then when you buy stuff from vintage you can choose to use the money from your vintage account so it's always so satisfying when I've sold something and then I've brought something with the money that I received from selling something, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, I bought this with my vintage money and I'm really happy with it because it is now one of my favourite jumpers. And um, once again, it's another neutral jumper. You guys might have noticed that I've been buying quite a few neutral bits. Or I would add a few more jumpers to my collection. And yes, I do have an entire drawer full of jumpers, but I have been swapping them out recently because... I tend to have a lot of cropped jumpers or more like spring type jumpers which are like thin and cropped 
um, but I need some more winter jumpers, so ones that have a higher neck that I can layer stuff underneath. And I just have so many jumpers that I don't wear. So yeah, over the last couple of months I've been swapping them out and I might need to do a couple of swapsies to fit these new jumpers in. Um, but I'll show you what this looks like. I love it so much. So let me do the buttons up. Um, I can't remember how much I got this for. It might have been about £8 or something and I was so happy to find it because... I really like it so yeah I just got this in an extra small and this is what it looks like it's just a fleece jumper I love the little buttons that is quite cute so then you can have it done up all the way so you so you can decide how many buttons you want to clip up and I've just been obsessed with this fleece material at the moment and I think it's because for work we actually have fleeces and I love my fleece, it's so, it's so snuggly. So I'm really drawn to neutrals and fleeces at the moment. So yeah, this is a lovely fleece material and she's only worn it twice. And um, I can't wait to wear this. It is a little bit cropped. When I took it out of the bag, I was like, oh, I thought it was gonna be a bit longer. Maybe I would have preferred it a little bit more oversized, but it is really nice. And it does have a pull strip. Oh my God, it has pockets. <gasps> I didn't know oh my god okay that is amazing but it's got this little drawstring so you can actually tighten it at the bottom which I love and it's got pockets <gasps> April did not tell me that I don't really know if you could put much in there because it is only a tiny little pocket but that is amazing I'm so happy about that um so I'll pop that in my Primark bag but yeah and I am loving this fleece that I got from Poundland. Like for £10, you can't complain. I had to pull out the, um, so you see this like lace. There was one at the bottom. Uh, there was two at the bottom actually and they were hanging off either side. So I hang this up on my door and I've noticed Bella has been digging her claws into the laces and playing with them and pulling them. So I just took them out because she kept getting her claws stuck in it. This coffee is so good, but I think it's a little bit too sweet put a little bit too much caramel syrup in there um so next i'll show you guys my new candle so there was a whole back and forth with house of fraser uh regarding my candles i just i just wanted i just wanted a candle so you guys might remember that i bought that big candle and i was really excited and it came from a mole and it didn't work so i went to house of fraser after work the next day brought a new candle they had actually moved them around so they were actually at the front of the store and they had quite a few candles to choose from so i thought i'll get the same one the free wick one took it home didn't work so then i brought them both back on the wednesday and i said hey these two candles don't work can i get this one instead which was also 10 pounds and just get a 10 pound refund don't really like it as much as the one big candle and they do they do work so they're different sizes and um i was a little bit disappointed because it didn't come with a remote like the big one did so i can't actually adjust the flame or anything um because i find that it does flicker a little bit too much i wish i could adjust the brightness and like the movement of it and stuff and it would just be nice to have a remote so you can just turn it on and off and yeah so this is what they look like and i've been using the little one over the last few days it doesn't really look as nice on camera as it does in person um in person especially when it's dark um it does look really nice in the room but on camera it it just looks really really fake but it is it is real wax and um it does flicker but you can't you can't really see it too well and another thing about these candles is that you have to put three um triple a batteries in each one so they do take up a lot of batteries um i don't think i still have the receipt for this um because i'm just debating whether i should like return them that's what happened with the candle but i think the one the big one that i had was probably just old stock i think these must have been old stock as well because they were originally 20 pounds and they're half price and yeah they were probably just trying to you know get rid of them really but yeah it's quite bad that i brought two and they didn't work like imagine if i got them um, as a gift for someone because my sister was actually going to buy the candle for me and gift it to me for Christmas but then in the end luckily she was like oh actually you buy it and I'm, I'm going to get you something else so it was a good thing that I bought it myself because then I could you know return it 
Um, but yeah, I think I might have a look for the receipt and maybe bring it back next week or something. I was just importing the clips that I just filmed over to my iPad. And I just wanted to show you guys this picture of the guy's dog who I bought the camera from. It's so cute. This was the only picture left on the camera. And their dog <laughs> is just so, so, so cute. So I thought I would show you guys that. I'm going to pop this away because I was just using this as my tripod. It's the Soap and Glory The Real Zing um, Body Scrub. Wrong drawer. Uh, is it this? No, it's this one. No, it's not that one. It's... No, it is this drawer. Yeah, it is this drawer, sorry. I've got so many drawers. Um, I thought I would quickly give you a Alex Nine drawer tour because I think it's really nice to do this before Christmas. This year I completely forgot and I forgot that I usually like to use up as many products as possible to make space for my new Christmas bits because I always like to stock up on Bath and Body over Christmas. I always ask for like skincare, soap and glory, etc. So it's nice to have a slightly empty drawer to be able to fill up again but um some of them are pretty full so here is my skincare drawer so i've got skincare and other little bits and bobs in here as well like my contraceptive pill for example um i've got my vitamins i did get a new pack of my vitamins because i was running out i've actually got this on a amazon subscription so every three months i get a bottle sent out to me and yeah these are really good these are just the women's gummies but this is like the main section i like to use so this is all my skincare stuff I did actually go ahead and buy the Skin and Me cleanser. So this is the full size and I also got the moisturiser. I'm just waiting for the sunscreen to arrive. So I'll show you guys what the full size products look like. This is the cleanser and I think I went for the one that's for... Which one did I go for? Because there's two different... There's two. There's one for oily skin and then there's one for dry skin so this is just the purifying and prep clarifying cleanser i can't remember what skin type this one is for because my skin is combination one of these is like 20 something pounds and the other one is probably like eight or nine pounds and then this one i've got here is the light moisturizer and when i get my next daily dosa i'm going to order the um the thicker moisturizer because sometimes my skin is a little bit more dry so this is what this one looks like and this is the little sample which i've almost finished up but i'll show you guys that i'm trying to use up the samples first and then i'll use this stuff and i'm really hoping i get one of these for christmas because i go through this quite quickly i did get one for my birthday which is completely finished but i do hope i get one of these for christmas i gave a few people my body shop wish list and i'm just praying that one person brought me this because it's it's really good. Oh, and my um, Too Faced lip balm that I keep going on about, that's almost finished. I bought a new one, ordered it off John Lewis because I had a gift card that I got from Charlton's dad last Christmas. It had £20 on there and I had been meaning to use it. So I was just thinking, what can I get from John Lewis? And I thought, oh, Too Faced. So the um, lip balm is £20. So I used my £20 gift card to get that. And I don't have a John Lewis near me, so I had to order it online. And I had to pay, I think, four fifty for postage, which isn't too bad because I'm paying four pound fifty for something that's worth twenty pounds. So you know it's okay so i should hopefully get that at some point this week this next drawer is my soap and glory drawer but there's not much soap and glory in this drawer so in this section i've got all my little travel size bits and my little foot scrubby thing and then this is my scrub that i got for my birthday from my friend margot and the rest of these bits is just like a sneak peek of the christmas bits that my mum got me so if you saw my last vlog i asked her for a bunch of stuff from boots i had a list and these are some of the items but you will see that in my what i got for christmas so i've just put them in there for now this is my very full body shop drawer should have been using i do use these products but i should have I should have tried to use them up as much as possible leading up to Christmas. Very, very, very small, small because it's still very, very, very full. So I've got all my um, like smaller tubs down here. This one is almost finished. I have started using all of these, I think. Um, I've got these minis, which I need to use up. I have started using my scrub. I think I'm halfway through this tea tree stuff, which I might give away to like my sister or something because I didn't really like this. And I've also got the tea tree oil, which I've wanted to try for years. And I've used a lot of it but i don't really feel like it's done anything for my skin um so yeah i'll probably have a better sort through once i get my christmas bits and probably put them into a use up now sort of pile and then i've got my delicious cherries and cheer 
shower gel the one i'm currently using is in the bathroom this smells amazing and i've got one for my sister and my niece and yeah not, not my sister my niece my sister and april and they are going to love it i've got the body butter as well which is just back here and this is my first ever full size of the new body butter since they changed the formula i've still got an old strawberry one in here it's almost finished it's got the tiniest amount in there but this was the good old strawberry and i do miss it miss it a lot because it's just not the um it's not the same anymore yeah so that's my my body shop drawer and then in here this is my well it was my dove and nivea drawer but obviously i've used up what was in this drawer and i've only got these bits left i put my lush bath bombs in here i got april some of the snow fairy stuff and i was tempted to keep some of it for myself so i've got some of my own now and i gave some bits to my niece and my sister as well so i've got two of the um i forgot what these are called but it's their christmas bubble bar it's like a cinnamon bubble bar I've got snow fairy bath bomb and i've got two twilight bath bombs and this is just the creamy candy bubble bar that i got last year and i've got a couple of empties in there which i might show you guys in this video just so that i can clear this drawer out and then in this drawer i've just got like my backup makeup and my nails and stuff and yeah so this is just my collection of all my bath and body stuff and you guys know i do actually use this stuff up it never goes to waste and i don't really buy too much throughout the year because like i said i like to ask for this sort of stuff for my birthday and for christmas especially at christmas i just stock up and you know use it throughout the year and um yeah hope you guys enjoy that little tour so so i'm gonna do a really quick sheen try on haul because i've had this stuff sitting in my room for a couple of weeks and i just really want to show you guys the bits i got so the stuff that i have been buying lately they're all sort of staples i'm still trying to find my style and i think i have a couple of styles so i've really been trying to get a couple of staples that i can mix and match with different outfits if that makes sense so i received this stuff the other week and i have tried it all on and i sent back two things which i didn't like and then i went ahead and i got three bags i'm thinking of maybe returning this bag and the cream bag that i got which is um this one thinking of returning it this black one i love and i will be keeping that i'll show you guys the bags better when i do a try on and i also got a pair of socks these are the socks that i was wearing on um sunday and i also got this pair of socks which says i think it says california yeah so it just says california on them and you can't go wrong with a pair of white socks and i've got two packs of lashes so these are the half lashes that i've gotten at the moment um i do want to get some more half lashes because i do quite like them they're just a bit more comfortable than wearing full lashes and i got this sort of natural pair of false lashes i don't really like the big thick fluffy long ones i prefer the more like natural looking ones and then i've got a pair of ugg boots which i'm so excited about this is my second pair of uggs i got my first pair quite a few years ago i think it might have been back in 2016 and they were the black bailey bow ugg boot and there's three pairs of uggs that i really want and brandon got me one of them and i'm not going to tell you which ones they are so i will show you guys what pair i got in my what i got for christmas he got these delivered to my workplace and i did have to try them on to make sure they were the right size i got these in a the size five and i was just hoping they won't be too big because my other arcs are four and a half and they're a little bit tight so i'll pop these in my shoe cupboard for now and yeah so i'm really 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 excited about these okay so this is the first item i got from sheen don't know if you can see because of the autofocus there we go it is actually ribbed and i like that it does have a zip so the zip goes down to here and it's such a lovely comfy material but jumpsuits are so good because you can wear them by itself just like this or you can actually wear a jumper over them so that you have an extra layer underneath the jumper they're so versatile and because the only colors i wear are black pink and like neutrals i could easily just wear this as an all black outfit or pair it with something neutral but yeah this is a very staple item in my wardrobe and these would go perfectly with my odd boot right so this is what the first one looks like just a little bit gutted that none of them actually have any little pockets so i thought that would have been really handy to like pop my keys in or something so this one actually has a bit of fleece material it doesn't go all the way it's not it's not in the whole inside of the coat it's literally just at the front and i do really really like the color of it and it just looks really good with the bodysuit i'm gonna go ahead and put the black one on so this is what the black one looks like 
it's pretty much exactly the same it's just it's just black i'm still sort of undecided on these to be fair like i do like them i just don't I just don't love them because obviously they do feel cheap because they are cheap they're from sheen and i have been looking for something like this for a little while but i just can't seem to find one in the like sort of style that i like but i thought it'd be nice to sort of wear these cheaper ones see how i sort of get on with them and then eventually in the future if i find a better quality one then i can order that and i can either sell or donate these that's what i tend to do with my clothes um I either sell them on vinted donate them to the rspca charity shop or i might give them to like my niece or something because she's the only person that's the same kind of size as me and here's the next one so this one is a very nice sort of cream color it is a little puffier it's a little shorter and it doesn't have the uh the fleece material so yeah that's this one i'll go ahead and show you black ones exactly the same it's just in black and this is what the black one looks like it's kind of hard to see because obviously i'm in all black but yeah exactly the same just just in black so i thought i'll show you guys the bag so this is the first one so it says go with the flow and yeah i i don't hate this bag but i don't love it it was the bags were really really cheap they were only a couple of pounds and i do have a lot of bags to be fair so i'm debating whether i should keep these ones or, or send them back so this is the first one this is the second one which i think i might actually return it's a beautiful color but the only thing is it doesn't have a pocket on the inside my favorite one however is this one it is a lot bigger than i expected um so it just says brooklyn and i just love this bag i think this bag is perfect for if you're shopping or maybe if you're going somewhere for the weekend and you need a big bag to throw some stuff in that is what this is perfect for this isn't the kind of bag i would use for like everyday use because it is quite big i did see a similar one in primark but i it, i don't think it had any writing on it um i saw it near the tills and i was going to pick it up can't remember the price of it it's probably only a couple of pounds um but i saw it downstairs in the men's section um but i just really like this bag so i'm definitely going to keep keep the black one because it is a little bit different and i don't have anything like this i just love my tote bags like the black one i have it's <laughs> completely torn inside i've had it for a few years and i love wearing it to work and outside of work it's just my go-to bag it's the perfect size and it's just really worn out but i love it got it hanging up in my wardrobe but i love it so much um this is what it looks like and it's just perfect it just goes with all of my outfits which are always comfy and casual um and i just can't bear to part with it and although i do have some really nice bags up there um i just never go for them so i'm thinking of selling some of my ted baker ones and this is my primark jumper i love this jumper so much and now i know it has these little pockets i love it even more they're so cute um so yeah you can actually adjust it so you can pull it and make it a little bit tighter um but it's a very 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 nice length it's not cropped um but it's not really long it doesn't cover my bum though i know some people like to have jumpers that cover their bum i love that it's a little bit oversized it is quite warm april said this one is quite warm and snuggly and it is i love the sleeves as well because they i'll try and show you guys because they are a little bit cuffed they're not super tight the color is perfect it's a beautiful stone color and i like that the buttons there's four buttons and you can obviously adjust how high you want the buttons to go up i don't really like anything too close to my neck so this is probably how i would wear it and yeah i really 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 like it definitely one of my favorite jumpers this is like the perfect autumn winter jumper because you know i can throw some layers under here to keep me warm and yeah now i've just got a find space for this to go in my wardrobe i'll also quickly try on the um hoodie that i got in a large so i can show you how snug and cozy it looks and how much better it looks and fits being oversized but i'm gonna have to throw on a pair of leggings because it is very fluffy it's a very fluffy jumper and i don't want to put it on over my bodysuit right so i've thrown on my bag as well because i feel like that helps to allow me to visualize what the outfit looks like but yeah here's the large jumper i think it fits so much better i feel like i could have gone for a medium as well maybe that would have been a slightly nicer fit 
than the large just really like the jumper and i'm glad i did go ahead and pick it up in a bigger size and the fact that it was only 12 pounds is not too bad i think that was everything in the haul i had to share with you guys apologies for all the hauls i've been doing lately hopefully you don't mind i don't buy clothes all the time um i think the last time i really bought anything was in the summer and i probably picked up maybe two or three clothing items i think i got two pairs of jeans might have got on a top but i didn't do like a big summer shop or anything like that summer is my least favorite time of year and i never know what to wear in the summer so i'm not too fond of summer clothes i just don't buy much in summer but when it comes to autumn winter that's when i like to grab a couple of jumpers to add to my collection i thought i would pick up a few staple bits so i probably won't buy any clothes for a little while now but obviously i've still got my other sheen parcel arriving which does have some more jumpers in there but some of them will definitely be going back because i've waited so long to receive that parcel and i've now obviously found some jumpers that i do prefer more and next year i think i'm going to get a couple of shoes i'm not a huge shoe lover i find it really hard to find shoes that i like or feel comfortable and really picky with shoes but i've uh went ahead and decluttered some of my shoes i don't have loads but there are some that are there's two pairs i love that are too small they're in a size four so annoyed and then there's a couple of shoes like sandals and stuff which i've never worn or worn once so i took pictures of them all and um they're going to be going on my vintage i'll show you guys just in case any of you are interested so yeah i took pictures of all of the shoes so i've got some boots here literally wore them outside for two minutes came back indoors and thought no can't wear these um but they're really nice and they're just a suede material and i've got these sandals which i've never worn they're from asos i've also got uh these ones as well these are from asos but they're by new look never worn them they're also brand new and then i've got these wellies which i got from asos which i love but they're a bit too small they're in a size four should have gotten a size five don't know why i've got a size four very annoyed because i love them but th they don't fit so i can't wear them same with these boots love them but they're in a size four they got some scuff marks i wore these like not very much because they're too tight but i like them such a shame and i've got these trainers brand new still got the tag on them so those are all the uh shoes i'm going to be putting on my vintage so i've actually managed to clear out some space in my cupboard where i keep my shoes so i'm going to have my new ugg boots in there brandon's also got me a pair of new balance trainers so next year i just want to get a few more new balance trainers and a few more uggs and then i'll be happy i don't really like to mix and match my shoes too much you guys know i just stick to my staple shoes um i've been living in my converse so i might get that base pair it's hard to tell if it's more a yellowy beige or stone color if it's more of a stone color then that would be amazing i picked her up another packet of these web box licky licks the turkey and cranberry ones because she really likes these and i think the other pack is finished that's in the kitchen um so i just grabbed one of those and look how cute her christmas present is it's a little gong saw this online usually christmas toys for cats they're normally like green and red just the traditional christmasy colors and you guys know i'm really particular about the type of toys i buy bella especially because i have them all over my room i like them to look a bit aesthetic so when i saw this neutral gong i thought this is perfect i don't think it's got any catnip in it um whether it does or not doesn't make any difference for bella because she doesn't care for catnip and i love it so much because it's kind of fluffy and she loves licking fluffy things i've just popped this in here for now and she can get that on christmas and i know i don't have a hamster at the moment because bluebell very sadly passed away she was over three and she passed away about two weeks ago but i thought i would um get these for my hamster because we got these at work and i used to buy this years ago for my previous hamsters it's just a rosewood natural strawberry stick and um yeah these don't go off until 2025 and i'll get a new hamster in the new year and i've got like a whole bunch of like treats and stuff in here ready for my new honey and all of bella's toys are just in here so as you can see i like sort of neutral color toys this is the one that she came with her little caterpillar so cute she loves bunny kicking this apologies if you can hear my heater in the background it's a little bit chilly so i thought i would just show you guys a little haul 
of the bits that I picked up from work for Bella. I always like to pick up a couple of food bits for her from work each week. So I've thrown the packet away. But these are the Licky Licks soups. So this is the chicken flavour and she really likes these. I maybe get these for her every two weeks. And then I got her some tins of food. So these are the Applause Rain Free Rain. And this is just in gravy. Applause is a very good quality brand if you're looking for some high quality cat food. These tins are a little bit pricey though. They're one ninety each and um, you have to remember Bella gets two tins a day so I don't always give her applause I do give her some other brands as well. Untamed is very similar and it is a lot cheaper they work out to be less than a pound a tin and the quality is just as good but yeah I spend about £100 a month on Bella's food and then I picked up some of the tuna fillets with cheese. I tried her on this before and she didn't like it but I gave it to her recently and she did enjoy it because she does like cheese. She does like tuna and she does like cheese but for some reason she didn't like it before but now she does and recently she has been loving cheese so I give her just a couple of pieces if I'm making a cheese toasty I give her some grated cheese so yeah I got a couple of those tins and then I got her a big tin of the applause tuna with prawn and it'd be nice if my camera would focus and yeah so you basically get two servings in this big tin and these are 1.99 then i got a packet of her biscuits so this is the dry food she's on it's by nature's variety it's grain free and she really likes it so this brand i also feed her the wet food as well which is her favorite food at the moment and uh yeah she's been on this food ever since she was a kitten she knows the word biscuit and is so cute she likes some biscuits bella yeah take that as Oh yes. Oh, look at her little face. Is she not the cutest cat you've ever seen in your entire life? So this is what her biscuits look like. I'm just going to pop that on her mat. I'll move her water over. Move her wet food over and <laughs> she's already eating them. And I'll put the biscuits on her mat. So I'm a little bit hungry. I'm going to do some ramen really quickly. They started selling my favourite packs of instant noodle in Iceland. I always get the curry flavour. Just going to add the water. Going to eat my noodles while I catch up with watching Gemma and Louise Miles. Then I've got to sort out that pile of clothes over there. Going to have to find somewhere to put them in my wardrobe and in my drawers. So I actually have a box of eyelashes and I think I need to go through them at one point because there's definitely some lashes in here which I won't use. They might be a little bit too big for me like these ones which I did love at one point but now they're not really my style. got a lot of tatty lash lashes as well because I did get that advent calendar about two years ago. So these are my two new lashes I'm just going to pop in this box. I don't really wear lashes that often now. It's only probably a couple of times a month because I don't wear lashes to work. So I also decided on what bookmark I wanted to keep because in my last vlog I mentioned I bought two catnip bookmarks and one was for my friend April and one was for myself. I finally decided <laughs> which one I wanted to keep. So this is the book that I'm currently reading. Uh, it's by Stephen King. It's called Pet Cemetery. I'm a very slow reader. Um, I get very distracted. And I have to be in the right mood to read and I never have time to read. So I've only picked up this book once this year to read it. Um, but I did start reading it last uh, summer. So not this summer, last summer. So 2022. And I'm not finished yet. Almost finished. I'm getting there. I think next year I'll definitely finish this book. I'm Yeah, I'm just, I'm just such a slow reader. But it feels nice to finally have a bookmark. So I decided to keep this one with bumble but yeah somehow i managed to ruin this already it's creased at the bottom and then at the top i don't know if you'll be able to see because the camera doesn't like to focus but the top is also like a little bit damaged i think it was because of how i stored it in my wardrobe before putting it in my book um but yeah that's a bit annoying but this bookmark is honestly the cutest thing okay so here's just a really quick overview of all the presents that i wrapped last week as you can see everyone's got a gift bag the only presents that aren't in gift bag is this one for all so that's for my niece and nephews and also these two for jackson so i just wrapped them in this really cute little paper i think he's the only one i used this paper for and a little bit of curling ribbon and a little tag i had so much fun 
wrap in this um, and that's his cute little gifts and then in this bag I've got everything for April I hope she likes her presents and then back here I've got this gift bag for Brandon so April and Brandon will get their gifts on Friday this is the gift bag for Brandon's pet so we've got all of Yogi's treats in there which he's gonna love and then in this section we've got all the gifts for my work colleagues so this one's for Liz this one's for Margot Margot's also got a bottle of drink. This one's for Sean, so he's got a bottle of drink as well. Both drinks are at work. My mum's got that big bag at the back. And then this is my sisters, my nieces, and then my two nephews. So yeah, that's everyone's gifts. I kept it quite simple. I didn't go too over the top, especially where I had a hand for people to actually buy for. I think I done it right, actually. So I wanted to quickly show you guys this. So when I was cleaning out my wardrobe a couple of days ago, I actually found this bag, which my pillow came in. And I thought, hmm, that might actually fit my wrapping paper in. And it does, and I'm so happy. So it's got a little handle and a zip. So I've managed to put all of my wrapping paper in here, all of my gifts bag and I've got my bows, curl and ribbon. Now I have a place to put all of my gift wrapping stuff and I can easily find all the bags and all the tags and everything because it's all in one place and I just keep this in my cupboard and yeah just thought I would show you guys this. I was very 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 pleased. This is why I love keeping certain things. You never know they might come in handy and the thing is I didn't even know I still had this. I had no idea I kept the bag but I'm, I'm happy that I did so yeah this can go back into the cupboard. I just pulled it out to show you guys. So I've just got into bed and I thought I would log in to my animal crossing game because i haven't picked up my switch all month and i've been dying to decorate my island for christmas as you can see i've still got an autumn theme going on i've just got bella laying at the end of my bed she's so cute bless her i love having a cat they're just the cutest little companions and yeah so i'm just going to play a bit of animal crossing um probably for an hour or two and then I think I'm going to watch The Grinch tonight because I haven't watched a single Christmas film yet. They loved Christmas the most. Too late! That'll be mine. 